So welcome Anne-Marie Rupp. We are very happy to have you as part of our conclave number three in Salbach. Do you want to tell something where you come from? Because you come from a little far away than some other participants of the conclave. Um, I am very glad that you invited me. I am very happy to be here. I am coming from Slovenia, from the capital of Slovenia, Ljubljana, where I live and I work. But uh, for the next four months I am going to live in Berlin. I just moved there. So I came from Berlin, actually, right oh, now. Great! <laughs> so where did your first influence to become an artist uh, came from? Oh, my, the first influence... Um, since, uh, since I remember I was drawing and I always was telling my parents that I'm going to become an artist. But I went to study art a bit late. So I started at 29, going to the Academy of Fine Arts in Vienna. And um, you're, you're shortly before finishing your master's degree in painting now? Yes, I'm writing my master about abandoned plant sanctuary, which is art experiments with social, ecological and economical and also spiritual connotations. And uh, wherever I go, I am trying to establish a branch of abandoned plant sanctuary, especially if I go to the, abroad or to another place. So was it easy for you um, to find some here in Saubach, the topic of the conclave number three, this year's reactions on the alpine landscape? How easy was it for you to find some verlassene Pflanzen? Yeah, at first when I was walking through Saalbach, I, I observed the uh, uh, surroundings and uh, I saw that uh, people are caring about their plants. Everything is so neat and so nice and very well organized and it looks really beautiful. So I was a bit skeptic at the beginning if I would actually find an abandoned plant in such a place. Even in the mountains, on the mountains you can see the presence of people because everything is so neat and um, taken care of. Yeah. And, um, but I was lucky because one of my colleagues, uh, Michael, he found a container mm. full of plants behind the cemetery in this week you did not only focus on Heim für verlassene Pflanzen, but also on another topic. You want to tell us a little bit more about what else you produce during this week here in Saalbach? I am producing uh, light boxes with um, linden leaves, which I brought from Berlin. The night before I went to Berlin, I had a dream about a linden tree, mm -hmm. about its blossom and leaves. And I forgot uh, about the dream until I was already in Berlin drinking my morning coffee in, in the backyard where I live and uh, the, the bloom of the linden tree fell into my coffee and that time I remembered and I was like, oh yeah, let's see what are the connotations and symbolic meaning of the linden tree and because uh, the linden leaf is also a symbol of my country, of Slovenia and a lot of Slavic countries and then I discovered that it has uh, mythological meaning also in the German yeah. mythology, so it is some kind of a connection. And I'm doing um, light boxes uh, with linden trees, which is like a connotation to, to because linden tree has also the shape of the heart. Mm -hmm. And uh, I discovered also the, the Nibelungen saga with Siegfried and the part where he conquered, conquers the dragon and uh, bathes in its blood and the linden tree falls on his back. So this is the spot where he's vulnerable. Then I started to think about the vulnerability also because I'm doing teams uh, which are connected to me and to my experience. We are usually um, the most vulnerable in the spots we don't see and we don't uh, we can touch but uh, the vulnerability is also the main cause if you want to be close to someone so you have to open that's uh, the theme of my work here very interesting uh, to work together with six other artists or to get in a group of seven that really influenced you as uh, for example as you said michael helped you in your yeah. work also yeah. to come further yeah. Uh, Michael helped me, yes, and I was really um, excited about that because uh, he told me that he, he started to, to see the poor plants or abandoned plants or pieces of the soil with grass everywhere as well because uh, he's doing uh, clouds. I am also more focused on the clouds and 
Yeah, of As course we influence You each inspire other. each other. Yes, uh, yeah, of course. And also Ema showed me her drawings of plants and uh, I think our work is uh, connecting in some way. So it's very inspiring uh, to be with uh, different artists. And today we are opening our exhibition for the rest of the summer. We are going to have our vernissage and I think you are also going to do something there. You want to tell a little bit about it? Yes, uh, I'm going to to give some plants uh, for adoption with uh, of course you can get a plant uh, only by signing adoption agreement uh, where you declare that you will take care of it and you prepared really nice ones for that so the people who are coming today to the exhibition they could adopt one of the plants yes they could adopt one of the plants and they get adoption agreement on which is the photograph of the plant which is kind of id of the plant mm -hmm. and the print of a drawing of this plant so uh, adoption agreements is a uh, kind of certificate as well. That's great. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs>